Hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last part, we checked up with everyone to see how they were doing with Kate's death. And in this part, we just snuck into the school and we're gonna see what happens. So let's get into it. Zoom. Okay, let's see. So this is the principal's office. What is she doing? That's it. the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. Hmm. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking. Thanks to Frank. Oh, wow. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. It's true. She's like, you could do something besides stare at me. Nothing here. Okay, those are files. More okay. files. Boring. I just fought off a sneeze. Crap. Wow, they're all files. Who would have thought? I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. Betty's cute. This looks like, uh, Here are the keys. <laughs> it would have keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan okay. has me. Hey, Warren. You busy? <laughs> Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks. That, like, guy. midnight? Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. Chloe's like, mm? Mm? This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Sure, soda Can you can stay here and not get caught? Sodium I might chlorine. get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. I want to see if I missed any, uh, anything else over here, I guess. Nope. Okay. Let's look at our texts. Um, Warren. Okay. Now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Here's how you'll do it. Ooh. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Any questions? Sodium chlorate, what the fuck? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So are you really going to try this? Keyword is try, I bow to your wisdom. Okay. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Sincerely, Madsen David. Warren okay. is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Well, they're probably not going to be over here. I think I have to go. Oh. 
trash can. can. Okay. It's called a trash can, not a trash cannot. Release the crack can. Okay, we got our soda can. It's all mine anyway. Okay, okay. Only three more items to go. Sodium chlorate, duct tape, and sugar. Okay. Well, what's that? Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Oof. Warren got a B minus. Who cares, really? <laughs> That's passing. That's fine. I never said they were great, troll. Oof. Rude. Okay, sodium chlorate. Don't know what that looks like, but. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. A weed killer. So we need to go to, uh, maybe like a janitor's closet or something? Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, Fish Fish. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Okay. Okay, just got a photo. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Okay. All right, nice. You're halfway now home, I need a uh, duct tape and whatnot. Oh, cool, I could take a photo like this. We have another text from Warren. Does that have a cigarette in its mouth? Oh my God. Okay, let's see. You still there? Did you blow up? Max, still here? I didn't blow up. Not yet. I need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. Okay. Let's see. So this is, uh, Mr. Jefferson's class. This is like you've seen in Duct tape and sugar. I don't think we find that in, uh... In this class. But. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Ooh, Nathan. Fuck that hoe. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer said Max, the art critic. Okay, so there's just a bunch of photos people turned in, I guess. Victoria's cigarettes? Cigarettes. <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Don't smoke, children. It's like the stupidest thing you could do. I mean, I don't know. You can do whatever you want with your body. The we found the tape! tape. Yes. Only one more ingredient left. That's just not a good idea. Okay, there's duct tape over there too. I wonder if we could, uh, could have just picked up whichever one. Okay, I don't think, I don't think there's gonna be sugar in here. Did I see something? Nope, okay. Let's see, what would have sugar? Can I? So I'm kind of limited to these hallways, I guess. Kate's locker. Oh, Kate. Your locker looks so lonely. Looks like every other locker. 
honestly. Okay. What is this? Can't go in there. Okay, posters. Hmm, where would sugar be? Let me see. That's where I was. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Can't go in there. Okay, what am I missing? No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Sugar, sugar. This is Oregon, damn it. Where's the Blackwell coffee machine so I can grab some sugar? Coffee machine? Would it be in here? No, we already searched here. Okay, let me... Let me think. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? I can't really go anywhere. I can't go in the bathroom. There's not gonna be sugar there. So it's either science or Jefferson. So I guess I'll just go back to the science room and see if I missed anything. I mean, I guess I they do work with a lot of different compounds. Ass biology. Oh, gross. Oh my gosh. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. It's the elements. Uh. Da Vinci was a boss. Okay. Oh my gosh, where's sugar? Sugar. Hmm. Sugar, here. sugar. This is Oregon, damn it. Where's the Blackwell coffee machine so I can grab some sugar? I have no idea. Hmm. Okay, I'd say I searched. Ah, oh, pretty thoroughly. But here it is. Oh my God. Nathan, but every little grade counts. Yes, I like this plus better than that minus. Thanks for being there for me, Warren. Ooh, sugar. Okay. I didn't even mean to do that. I just now saw it's the time sugar. To show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Okay. Which way are we going? This way. Probably wasn't a good idea to put B plus, because then someone will know. It was messed with, but, uh, I don't know. Who would guess that two students are roaming around at night? Am I dumb? Here we go. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Ooh. That is wow. so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Ah. Here comes the whole arcade with a fire and police department. Uh, so what should we do? Welcome to my domain. <laughs> you are magic. Oh I have no gosh. clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. 
Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's oh ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Can we lock the store? Nope. Okay. Well. Got a text from Warren again. So did you blow the lock, Unabomber? Oh please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. <coughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> just let me sneeze as This pretty much part. sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Mm. Only two more files to go. Okay. Browser. This will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Ooh. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Chloe Price was a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Okay, so that's why. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership. It is that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. Oh my gosh. Let's nab. Imagine being Weird. perfect. This asshole has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott continues his family historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. Like I'm Ooh. not going to read my own personal file. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive, others would like her to be less so. But this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Okay. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy. A student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have history. to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren's GPA is 4.0. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by a science teacher, Ms. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. I really I feel like uh, school files aren't that... I should go join Chloe now. 
detailed. I feel like it's all strictly um, just grades, to be honest. I don't think people pay attention to students that much unless they Looks like do something really good or really bad. Awful. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. The third. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But oh I my was expelled. At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's the fuck? fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty what? cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, super Hebrews. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include <laughs> mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Oh Shit, I'm confused. God. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Oh, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. I don't think that's a good idea. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Chloe's in trouble, but that's a lot of money to steal. So I'm gonna say leave the money you really want to take money from the handicapped fund i know you need to pay frank back but i've got my power to protect you right there's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash but yes moral max is right again i guess let's get the hell out of this office morgue i know that money would have helped chloe and me Okay, this is a bunch of files on Nathan. Oh my god, throwing a desk in class, cursing his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft of campus Tobonga statue. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel's been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Because she's friends with Chloe? It doesn't matter. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come into my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule. Acting as a front for another local dealer, considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. So David's going around looking for proof, I guess. Mm. Did I look at this file? If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Oh, this is just a letter saying uh, the cameras aren't 
aren't being put up to Mrs. Grant, I guess. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to end that part there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.